how to set an mp3 song or a custom audio file as a text messages notification sound on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Now there are two main steps in this video. First is we need to locate the mp3 file and put it in the right folder. And the next step is to go into your text messages app and select the right uh, sound. First, let's go back to the home screen by tapping on the home button at the bottom of the screen. Then on the home screen, swipe up to go into the app screen. In here, open up my files. Now sometimes my files is uh, located within the Samsung folder. So you might need to go into the Samsung folder to find my files. So here I'm going to open up my files and in my files, go to where your audio files are located. Now you can tap on audio files in here. It will show all your audio files on your device or you can navigate to the correct uh, folder. So in here, I have my audio files uh, stored in the download folder. So you can see here I have a few MP3 files. Or you can tap on audio files and it should show a list of all your audio files. You can also use the search button at the top here to find your audio file. So here, once you have located the audio file, simply touch and hold onto that. Once it is selected, tap on, you can either copy to a new folder or you can move it. So in this case, I want to copy. So I'm gonna tap on copy and then tap on the home folder at the top. Next, we go down to the storage section and tap on internal storage. Now scroll down and tap on notifications. Now, if you do not see the notifications folder at the top here, make sure you choose all. Sometimes it is set to essentials as the default and that will only show a few folders. So you want to tap on the drop down and select all. This will display all the folders available on your device. In here, we will scroll down and tap on notifications. If this folder uh, is not here, you can tap on the more button at the top and create a folder. And in here, you can give the folder a name called notifications. Now, because I have already have the folder, so I'm going to cancel this process. So go into notifications and then tap on copy here. And that's it, so we have now placed the mp3 song or an audio file into the notifications folder. This folder will hold all your custom sound. So here we're going to tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. And the next step is to open up your text messages. In here, tap on your profile icon at the top. Then we go down and tap on messages settings. Next, tap on notifications. Then we scroll down and tap on notification categories. Now, sometimes this option is not available for you. If you do not see notification categories, you can turn it on in um, notifications menu. I will show you how you do that uh, in a moment. But first, go into the notification categories. And then from here, we tap on incoming messages. Now go down and then tap on sound. And in here, you should be able to see your custom sound. So you can see there is a section here called custom. That is the custom audio sound that we have placed in that notifications folder. Okay, so we select that. And now you can see if I receive a new notification for text messages, it will play my custom uh, audio file. Okay, so here I will send myself a text. And you can hear now it's playing the mp3 file. If you notice that your phone does not play a custom file that you have selected, this could be because uh, your text is already in a conversation. So what you want to do is open up that conversation, then tap on the more button, then tap on details, and then tap on notifications. And in here, we go down and tap on sound and change the sound for that particular conversation. From now on, when you have a when you start a new conversation, it should use the default 
settings. Uh, for existing uh, conversation, it may use the the sound, the notification sound that you have uh, set before you have applied the new change. Okay, so if you do not see that um, categories, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, in here, so when you go to notifications, uh, down here, if you do not see this uh, notification categories, then what you need to do is swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings icon. Next, go down and tap on notifications and then tap on advanced settings. Go all the way down to the bottom and make sure you turn on manage notification categories for each app. If you switch this off, then it will not be shown in here. So when we go in here, if that is switched off, then you will not see the categories. You can see at the bottom here, it does not show that categories uh, option for me to, uh, to tap on. So you need to go in notifications and advanced settings and we need to turn it on. Once you turn it on, it should become available for you to choose uh, as a notification categories. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos.